Hi, my beautiful Pisces. What's up, you guys? It's Jessica, and it's Trusting True Tarot, also known as CTT Intuitive. I want to thank you guys so much for all your love and support to the channel. I want to thank you guys so much for your donations. I really appreciate it, you guys. I appreciate all the love and support. All right, so my beautiful Pisces, this is going to be a daily love reading. So go ahead and put whoever this person is on your mind, whoever this person is that you're actually dealing with, okay, romantically. Let's see what their energy is towards you, your energy towards them. Let's, this is a daily love reading for my Pisces. It could be a Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. Go ahead and hit that like button. All right. My Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. Cross watches third parties. What's up? All right. Anything you need to know is in the description box below. I want to go ahead and thank all my channel memberships for rocking with me. I love you guys so much. And I thank you so much for your continued support. So I look forward to hearing from you guys on Sunday in the live when we chop it up and we do some on our own little personal readings because y'all know I do the readings. So we're going to do our own little readings in the live, and we're going to also talk about um, this trip that we're going to take, okay? So let's go ahead and get into this. Let's go ahead and get into this. This daily love reading is I'm going to pull one card for you, Pisces, and I'm going to pull one card for the person you're dealing with romantically, and then two cards for the advice on how you should be coming towards this person and their energy, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and lay it all out. What's your energy towards this person? On today, the day that you're watching this, this is a daily love reading, daily, daily love reading, daily love message, whatever the hell you want to call it, whatever makes you feel good, okay? So your energy is temperance here in reverse, all right, Pisces? Hmm. And their energy towards you, their energy towards you on today, Ooh. The hell? Six of Wands in reverse. Over our energy is the moon for this person. Hmm. As the advice, I should be coming towards this person as the advice. Eight of Swords. Ooh, Five of Swords. What's going on? This is a lot of, I'm, okay, I have to keep it real. This is a lot of negative energy right here. This is a lot of negative energy. Um, but let me explain something. Okay. Your energy coming towards this person has just, a, it could be something like hormonal. You guys might be very hormonal. Okay. Men can be hormonal too. So cut it out. You guys can be too. All right. Make no damn. I mean, I don't know if you're on steroids. I don't know what you got going on. I don't know if you got thyroid issues. I don't know if you got Addison's. I don't know if you got crushing. I'm a nurse. I'm just saying y'all got, y'all be having hormonal issues. <laughs> but yeah, if you are a man or a woman, Pisces, I just kind of really feel like your emotions are kind of like, you know, it's unstable. I kind of feel like you're all over the place. And I feel like too, some of you guys, there is a hormonal issue. Maybe your hormones are all over the place. You're having some type of hormonal imbalance right now. I'm also getting this energy that, um, What's causing, if you are a man too, so it doesn't matter, but if you are a woman or a man, feminine or masculine energy, on today, I really feel like what's causing you to be this way is uh, this, you're in this little bit of like stinking thinking, you're letting negative thoughts kind of like, you know, put you in this certain mind frame where you can't see another way out of a situation. So you become a little bit tunnel vision in regards to something here. And, and like, I'm gonna give an example. Like you may be saying, oh, this person, they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. They're trying to be funny. They're trying to be funny. They know what they're doing. They're trying to piss me off. They're trying to, like you get tunnel vision. You get so tunnel vision to the point where this shit is really like, is, is messing with your emotions, right? So you're telling yourself something. It's the thoughts, it's the words, it's the belief that you're telling yourself. And it's starting to really get your emotions like, you know, you don't know if you should be mad at this person, angry with this person, how you should feel. So it's like your emotions are kind of fluctuating. You know what I'm saying? All right. So that's, that's what I'm getting about that. Okay. That's your energy towards this person. And it's so crazy because I do see that you're trying, you're, it's, but it's so hard. You're trying to get yourself out of this negative thinking, this thinking, thinking, this, this self-limiting thought and belief, this, this repetitive thought that you're having and you're in trapping, you're trapping yourself in this thought like, yeah, they know what they was doing. They was trying to be an asshole. Yeah. They was trying to hurt me. They was trying to be petty. Like they was trying to make me feel some type of way. Like I, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's like, you're, <laughs> they're like, you're getting so stuck into that. You're getting so stuck into that shit. <laughs> so it's like, whoo, yeah. Okay. <laughs> like you, you're having a hard time seeing something from a different perspective. Okay. That's the truth. 
your energy right now and this love situation, this love connectionship, connectionship, connection, or this love, like this relationship or this romantic relationship, whatever the hell this is, situationship, that's what I'm seeing that's coming from your energy on today. Now, whenever you're watching this, whoever's coming towards you, I don't really like to get too caught up in the signs because y'all, it could be any damn sign. This is the daily love reading for for thousands of people. Who, who the hell knows? When I said millions, it could be millions later. Who knows, y'all? So what I'm seeing is that there could be an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. There could be like a, a Cancer coming towards you, Pisces, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Or it could be another Pisces. So that's what I'm seeing, though. But it could be any other sign, you guys. Okay? I only pull like freaking four cards. Like, I don't pull a lot of cards here. So um, when I do this. So the person who's coming towards you, honey, they... <laughs> <sighs> this person is a trip. Um, this person is definitely, I will not lie to you. I do will I will tell you that this person, um this person is crazy. I feel like this person is a little prideful right now. <laughs> This is funny to me because whoever this person is, like, I'm not gonna, I ain't gonna sugarcoat. I ain't, I can't even lie to y'all. Like, okay. I do feel like this person may have been a little petty. They may have been trying to. It's weird. There's a petty energy here about this person where they're trying to make you feel some type of way. Like, there's an energy where I want to tell my Pisces, like, you're not crazy. <laughs> like, I do kind of feel like this person in, like, whatever may have happened in the past, this person was trying to make you feel a certain type of way. They were being a little prideful. They were letting their pride get the best of them. And so they may have came at you in the wrong way or the way that they said something was petty or was to be hurtful or malicious or just try to like one up you in the conversation or win the conversation or win the battle in a way, you know what I'm saying? So what I'm seeing is that, yeah, the three of pentacles right behind it. They do want to fix something here with you. The moon being in reverse, they're like they know what they, 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 they know what the fuck they did. And I feel, like, I feel so bad for you, Pisces, because I feel like you're over here like, don't think like that. Uh, try to be positive. But you're not crazy. They said some harsh shit, and what they said was wrong. And there was an energy of maybe like they started it, or maybe they they, they, they could have said that differently, but they, they triggered you. But they know that that was really their goal. That was the plan. That was what they were trying to do. And at the end of the day, even if that wasn't what they were trying to do, they knew that it would have triggered you. Whatever they said to you, they were kind of being rude, a little petty. They were trying to be a little vindictive. They were trying to, it was coming from a place of resentment. You know, it was coming from a place where they felt like you may have like, you know, bruised their ego in a way, maybe in some way they felt a little prideful. So the way they're coming towards you is I also feel like they're struggling. There's this internal struggle. They're struggling to like get up out of that energy to stop letting their pride hold them back from something here with you. Oh God, this person's crazy. Right now, they're finding it hard to have this equal give and take in love with you or hard to come towards you right now because it's just like their pride just got the best of them because it would mean that they would have to admit something like they would have to have a conversation with you and kind of put their pride aside. So right now, I do feel like this person is not really taking any immediate action towards you and they're not taking any type of you know, stand up action or commendable action towards you right now. Uh, but they do want to come out of conflict. There is a desire. It's a little desire. There's a desire here to come out of conflict with you, to be amicable here with you. But at the same time, it's like they won't put their pride aside. They won't put their pride aside to do it. Um, because the six of wands is here in the temperance, this lets me know that you do have some type of, uh, I want to say you might have some type of spiritual connection to this person. You guys might have a spiritual connection towards one another. There's that, this is definitely a soulmate connection. So whether you know it or not, I do feel like you have, you might not want to believe it, but you do have, you can make, 
I want to say, I want to say you can't make this person do anything, but I feel like by you controlling your own thoughts and by you being able to bring peace and harmony to your own mind and your own situation, that is how you're going to get this person to come towards you in a more positive way. So you have, you have power and you have control over yourself. And so as the advice, you have power and control over your own thoughts, the way you choose to think about things, the, the thoughts that you choose to um, give energy to, you know what I'm saying? What you, cause you, cause you can have one thought and then that whole thought could just start, you know what I'm saying? Blowing up into something more. Oh, he hates me. And I should have known he hated me because he did this and and you can start adding on to that. So what spirit is saying is that you, you need to master and control your own thoughts. And I feel like, which a lot of Pisces don't want to give themselves this credit and don't want to give themselves this type of power and control sometimes. But you have to understand your thoughts creates your outside world. It creates your own emotions. And sometimes it affects other people, how they show up in your life. So whether you know it or not, Pisces, you have a lot more control over the situation than you think. So give yourself some type of credit. I really do feel like if you can get yourself out of this negative energy, if you can let go of some type of resentment here, if you cannot, if you stop fueling these negative thoughts in your own mind, I feel like you really can get this person to show up and come towards you in a more positive way. Okay. Um, cause what you want to hear, what you want me to tell you is, uh, you should, you want me to get, tell you, oh, you should tell this person this, or you should just stop talking to this person. Or you should do this or you should do that. You want me to actually give you some type of action oriented type of advice, but in reality, this is all in your head. Spirit is saying it starts there first, your own negative thoughts, your own self-limiting beliefs, what you choose to believe about this person, what you choose to believe is true and real. If you choose to believe that, Hey, this person, um, they don't give a damn about me. They're petty. They're not trying to do this. Nobody cares about me. People do this. All, blah, 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 blah. Everybody does this. Um, I always have this in love. No one is this. Men ain't shit. Men, women ain't shit. Blah, blah, blah. If you choose to like get feel that, then that's what you're going to get. That's what you're going to get. Okay. That's what you're going to get from this person. You're going to get, get, you're going to get someone that comes towards you that don't give a shit. That's not going to try. Cause all you're doing is like fueling more of this ego energy. Okay. Because this lets me know that your ego is also involved in this situation too. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's the energy of putting your pride aside. Think about what I'm saying. The ego is so strong that it also makes like you, it can control your thoughts. Like, because you're wanting to make yourself feel powerful and superior and better than what someone is saying to the point where you even count this person, you count this person out altogether. And in a way, it's trying to find this balance and this harmony and this peace and understanding and be able to fuel your mind with that harmony and peace and peaceful resolution instead of saying, you know what, fuck this person, they ain't shit anyway. You know what I'm saying? So what, how you think they're going to come towards you? So anyways, I hope this helps and assist you guys in some way. I'm going to pull one romance angel cards on what this person will want to say to you right now. Just one. If we could pull one for this person's coming towards my Pisces, someone rising being a sign, what would this person be want to say to my beautiful Pisces at this time? What would they want to say? Well, damn. <laughs> well, damn. <laughs> okay. Hate is such a strong word. That's what's happening here. It's almost like you're letting your hatred or you're letting your hates for something or you're letting negative energy. You guys are fueling with the six of wands. It's like you're giving so much energy and passion and fueling this hateful, defeative, defeatist and um, resentful energy. That's what you guys are giving your energy to. You're letting that consume you. Hate is such a strong word is what they want to say to you. Wow. I'm going to be honest, what I'm getting from that too is like, I do really feel like this person, I'm going to be honest, I don't feel like this person hates you and I feel like they don't want to hate you. <laughs> like, I don't know why I'm getting that. It's like, they don't want to hate you. I mean, I've said that before. I've said, oh, I hate that. Oh, I can't stand this person. I can't. But in reality, like what I hate is how this person is acting towards me. What I hate is their attitude right now. What I hate is the way that they're behaving. But I do care about this person. I do love this person. I just wish that they would understand. And sometimes we say things, you know, 
but it's not truly what we feel. Like we just want the situation to be better. We just want someone to understand where we're coming from. It's just all of that. We just don't, we don't want to feel unimportant. You know, we don't like when someone makes us feel less important than something. So yeah, it do, you tell yourself, oh, I hate this person. or I hate the situation. Like, I do feel like this person is like in that moment, like they really, <laughs> it's like weird. I can see this person talking to themselves saying, I know I don't hate this person, but dang, <laughs> shit. <laughs> okay. It's their ego. It's their pride. <laughs> I hope this helps. Let's just you guys in some way.